It's tough terrain for fighting fires. Temperatures have reached the low 40s and the winds have been blustery. The blaze is one of the worst in recent times in the Kimberley and is showing no signs of slowing down. Very hard to logistically transport people. I mean, you've got mountain ranges, you've got uh, a lot of areas you just can't get to. They're not serviced by roads or, and the only way in is by aircraft. The fire started at Ellenbray Station late last month and quickly pushed out to the south and the west where it's burnt across several cattle stations, covering an area greater than the entire Sydney metropolitan area. Pastoralists, Indigenous rangers and town-based crews are all pitching in as the flames continue to jump fire breaks. Our trigger point this morning was when uh, we had fire jump the old Mount Elizabeth Road. Uh, we've now got extra staff coming up from uh, Perth to relieve uh, the fatigue of the guys, our guys in the field. Helicopter pilot Nick Sundblom has been photographing the fire from the air. It can look pretty um, scary at times and it is sort of incomprehensible how much country has been burnt. It's um, at times from horizon to horizon in all directions it's burnt ground. So far no homes have been damaged but thousands of hectares of grazing land has been destroyed and stock losses are likely. There'll also be an environmental toll. It'll be a significant impact on the local biodiversity. It'll be an impact on animals ranging from your small native rats through to your Gouldy and finches, through to purple crown fairy wrens, quolls, you know, any of those little animals that need that habitat to live, a million hectares of that is gone. A total of about 50 people are currently battling the blaze. Erin Park, ABC News, Broome.